What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm CS2 Harris. I put out informational videos about the Navy. In this video, I want to share with you guys what you are required to bring a Navy boot camp. I also go over what you can bring and what you are not allowed to bring. So before we get into this video, I know you see this book right here. I'm a self-published author. This is my first book I published, and it's a book about finances. It's called Million Dollar Sailor Mindset, Seven Steps to Wealth Building. It's a great book for you guys that's joining the military or any other workforce in general. It goes over finances and what you should start doing with your money at an early age. Um, but for now, let's get right into this video. And if you stick around to the end, I'll go into depth about the book. Um, so like I said, this book is about what you are required to bring the Navy boot camp. So first you should bring your social security card, your amortization record, which is your shot list of all the shots you got. And then if you've been vaccinated for the COVID-19 vaccination, just bring the COVID-19 vaccination record card. You also should bring two forms of identification. One of them should have your picture ID and uh, both names should match on both cards. So if you had a name change, just make sure you bring that documentation with you. And then a list of the IDs you could bring are your US passport, a foreign passport, uh, your driver's license, any kind of dependent US military dependent ID, uh, your personal identification, verification card, and then uh, a, vo a voter's registration card, and then a certificate of US citizenship. So those are the type of IDs you can bring. So you are required to bring, you are required to bring five things to Navy boot camp. If you don't bring anything else, make sure you bring these five things and I'll go over them again. Bring your social security card, your immunization record, your COVID vaccine record, and then two forms of identification. One has, it has your uh, picture ID on it and then both names should match on both of them. If you had a name change, just make sure you bring that documentation with you. All right, so next I'll go into what you can bring. These are things you can bring. You don't need to bring them, but if you want to, you can bring them. But my recommendation, bring the bare minimum. Don't bring too many things with you. So I'll just go down the list. And uh, I don't know if I said this earlier, but this is the official RTC website. So if you want to do further research, research on it or go back and check i'll put this link in the description below so you guys can do further research but so some things you can bring is a wristwatch a wedding a wedding ring a religious medallion writing material pocket size religious book like a bible uh, a small address book this is very important Bring a small book to write down addresses, phone numbers, anything like that because you won't be able to have your phone in Navy boot camp. And a lot of us don't even know our own phone numbers, well not our own phone numbers, but phone numbers for our significant others. So make sure you just have that book with you to write down phone numbers and address. So if you want to mail out mail and do anything like that, make phone calls, you have that uh, the phone numbers and the emails with you and uh, of course the addresses. Uh, you can bring a plastic hairbrush, pick or comb, one pair of prescription glasses or reading glasses, a small amount of cash. It can be up to $10, no more than $10. Uh, and then prescription medication. Make sure it's prescribed by your doctor. No over-the-counter medicine. Uh, and then for female recruits, you can bring the following items. You can bring feminine sanitary items, and then you can bring cosmetics, uh, conservative cosmetics. One of each, you can bring uh, face powder, blush, lipstick, eyeshadow, or mascara. So just one of each. All right, so those were the things you can bring if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you could bring those things. All right, so next we'll jump into things you cannot bring. So you cannot bring shaving cream. You cannot bring uh, an aerosol container. All aerosols container you cannot bring. No aftershave or cologne. Lighter fluid. Disposable lighters. Playing cards, dice, or gambling uh, paraphernalia. You cannot bring a metal hairbrush, pick, or comb. So you can bring a plastic metal hair. You can bring a plastic 
hairbrush pick or comb, but not a metal hairbrush pick or comb. So just make sure you don't do that. Anything in glass containers, including mirrors, cigarettes, cigars, pipes, vapes, tobacco, and chewing tobacco you cannot bring. Alcohol-based health and comfort items. So things like Listerine, don't bring that. Anything with alcohol based in it, you cannot bring. Um, additional civilian clothing. Just bring the clothes on your back. You don't have to bring any clothes with you. But I will say, well, I'll talk about this at the end. But uh, just this clothes on your back. No additional civilian clothing. You cannot bring cameras. No portable video games or MP3 players. Electric ragers. Hair dryers. Curling irons. Don't bring any kind of food with you to RDC. Uh, don't bring any non-prescription drugs or medication. Only thing you can bring is prescribed medication. No uh, unprescribed un medication. No firearms, weapons, or any explosives. That's a given. Don't bring no guns or explosives with you or knives. Uh, and then last but not least, no narcotics, no illegal, illegal drugs or paraphernalia. Um, so those are the things you cannot bring. Like I said, I'll put this link in the description below if I went too fast so you can kind of go over it. So yeah, those are the things you are required to bring, you can bring, and you cannot bring. I also got a list of things that I feel like you should bring. Uh, so in my personal opinion, I will only bring myself and my wallet with the things you are required to bring. Don't bring nothing else because they will give you everything you need in boot camp and that's just a hassle of extra stuff you have with you. Also, I would suggest bring some clothes with you, the clothes on your back, the clothes on your back that you bring with you, bring something that you don't mind donating. Like some handy down clothes or some clothes that you don't mind giving away. Because the clothes on your back, you're going to have to ship home. And it can cost $50 to ship those things home. Uh, so if you don't want to ship them, you could just donate them. They will ask if you if you want to give them away. And you can just give those clothes and shoes you have on your back and feet. Give them away. And I just saved you uh, $50. Um, I touched on address book. That's a big thing. Make sure you bring an address book with addresses, emails, phone numbers. It'll go a long way because a lot of us don't remember any phone numbers nowadays because everything is stored in your cell phone. Uh, also, a very important thing, bring your bank account information. So when you get to boot camp, you can either sign up for Navy Federal or you can use your home bank. which could be like USAA or Wells Fargo, Chase, whatever bank you have back home, you can use that. If you don't have that information, they're going to have you sign up for uh Navy Federal. So if you don't want to do Navy Federal, bring your own bank account information. And that would just save you in the long run. Uh, also, you can bring stamps with you. Bring stamps because you're going to do a lot of mailing. You can mail home your significant others, your family, and friends. So bring uh, a couple stamps with you so it'll just save you some money so you don't have to go out and buy them or you just have them on hand. But also, you know it's COVID right now, so bring multiple masks with you because you are required to wear your mask when you get to Navy boot camp. Uh, and then for females, you can bring eye curlers if you want to. Last but not least, so make sure before you go to Navy boot camp, pack a bag with you with all your clothes and shoes and then set it aside. Give it to your, your parents or whoever you live with so that way when you graduate from Navy boot camp, they can bring that bag of clothes with them at your graduation. And you'll have a whole wardrobe of clothes and shoes with you when you go off to A school. Or if you don't have anyone to come to your graduation or because of COVID you didn't have a graduation, just have your parents or whoever you live with ship that bag or box of clothes to wherever your A school is so that that way you'll have a fresh wardrobe of clothes and shoes. Because me, I didn't have nobody to tell me this. When I got to A school, all I had was my my uh my jumpsuit from the navy my sweatsuit and then my go fasters my p-day clothes you know and i was going everywhere with those clothes until i went to the mall or the next to buy more clothes uh so don't be like that if you don't care oh well don't bring nothing but if you care about how you look just make sure you set aside a box of clothes and shoes before you go off the navy boot camp let your parents know like hey this is my box i want you to send to me once I graduate from boot camp or they can bring it with them 
and then you will have a fresh set of clothes for you when you get to A school. Because when you get to A school, you will have the chance to go out into town, go to little nightclubs or whatever you want to do. And you don't want to be walking around with your Navy PT uniform, your sweatsuit, and your your new balances, your go faster. So that'll just save you, a, you know what I'm saying? Just helping you guys out. So that concludes this video. I hope it helped you guys out. Uh, like always, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. I try to answer every question you guys may have. And then, uh, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Until next time, deuces. All right, thank you for y'all that sticked around to the end of the video. Uh, like I said, I'll just touch on a little bit about my book. So this is my book, Million Dollar Sailor Mindset, Seven Step to Wealth Building. It's a book I created or it's a book I wrote that talks about finances. So certain chapters in this book, you have saving, investing, credit card, credit score, car buying, and home buying. Um, and then you also have the TSP. Once you get into the military, you know about TSP. It's like the 401k for military. And it's a great book for people that's joining the military. Because you know, a lot of us that joined the military we didn't have nobody to teach us about finances so when we got paid from the military you know we're bringing in this money that we never had before and we just spending it on materialistic things that don't bring value to our life so we're blowing money including myself i blew my money on useless stuff clothes jewelry shoes that didn't mean anything and uh i found myself going into this spiral downhill and then um, I couldn't get out of it in time and I was just in debt so much debt so it's a great book for you guys that want to know a little bit about finances and I go over my life experiences in this book also I have frequently asked questions I talk about things in this book as well go over the chapters in this book so it's a great starter book about finances uh, it's on Amazon if you type in million dollar seller mindset it will be in there. Um, you can also go to the link. I'll put it down in the description below. So, yeah, it's my first book. And I really appreciate you guys showing your support. And uh, if you don't, it's cool. I really appreciate y'all anyway. But that's my book. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate everything that you do. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and leaving comments. It's a blessing. So, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.